general and cardiac surgeon, India. Leading general and cardiac surgeon from India talks about his education and experience. He did his training in the United States and focuses on minimal access cardiac and thoracic surgery. Education is MBBS, uh, DNB general surgery and DNB cardiac surgery. MBBS in general surgery from Madras Medical College. DNB cardiac surgery from Apollo Hospitals, Chennai. Then I did my American both from Boston uh, University. Did my fellowship in pediatric cardiac surgery from Boston Children's, which is Harvard University. And then did minimal access in heart failure and cardiac transplantation from the Cleveland Clinic, Ohio. I would probably uh, like to emphasize that uh, in the field of cardiac surgery, one of the USPs that uh, I represent is minimal access. So I have uh, a penchant for basically uh, doing minimal access cardiac surgery and thoracic surgery. So trying to get down to doing uh, no sternotomy CABGs or endoscopic valve replacements, valve repairs and uh, trying to go more towards a keyhole or endoscopic approach to cardiac surgery in general. And uh, in addition, I also do uh, a fair amount of pediatric surgery, but I like to stay more focused on minimal access cardiac surgery. I think international patient procedures, we can broadly divide it into different subsects. If we go with cardiac surgery, if you look at the Western world, they do need a lot of minimal access valve repair surgery. Uh, the tendency for most third world countries is to replace valves, whereas in the United States and Canada, they do a lot of repair work. So that is something that we can offer because of my expertise uh, from where I trained. We do around 5,000 valves at Cleveland Clinic every year. Uh, that's one. Endoscopic uh, closure of ASDs, valve repairs, Again, something which is offered by very, very specialized centers uh, in the world. And I think there are only a handful of us, around 10, 15 centers in the world doing this kind of quality work. Uh, if you go into non-cardiac, uh, I also do uh, uh, basic venous angioplasties for uh, multiple sclerosis, what has now come to be known after Zamboni as the liberation therapy or the CCSVI therapy. Uh, we have been the pioneers of that in this country. We're the first to set the ball rolling. And I think we are the only the third group in the world to get started after Zamboni and Simca. We've had good results by God's grace. So far, so good. And uh, we're out on our, almost 120 patients with excellent results. Essentially, uh, multiple sclerosis is an autoimmune disease. And that's what years of teaching by neurologists was. It's an autoimmune disease that doesn't have any other value to it. But Zamboni, is uh, an Italian uh, surgeon, his wife had multiple sclerosis and he just happened to study her jugular veins and he found that there are blocks in these veins. And you know, not all of us are born with blocks in the jugular veins, so there's obviously something abnormal about this. So he took 65 patients and he assessed them and found all 65 seemed to have these blocks. So he, he started doing angioplasties for them. It's a routine angioplasty just like any other angioplasty in the body. There's nothing special about it in the technical aspect of the procedure. The, the more important thing is on whom to do it. So you first you need to have a person with MS, proven MS by MRI. It's not someone who has an assumption that they have MS, but they should have been diagnosed by a neurologist or they should have some MRI evidence of having multiple sclerosis number one. Number two is there's a lot of you and cry about is balloon better or is stent better. I think there are pros and cons to both of them and only those of us who have done enough of it we know the fallacies of the balloon. We also know what all damage a stent can do if not put in right or not if it's put in, in the wrong patient or if you just happen to be having the wrong substrate and you don't accept a stent. And I think that comes more about after you do a lot of procedures. It's something which is very difficult to tell no, no problems, go ahead and do stents or just do balloons. Medical Tourism Corporation facilitates affordable medical and dental treatment at world-class international hospitals and clinics. Fill out the estimate request form on our site, medicaltourismco.com, for a free quote and more information.